Adam Harvey here, just letting you know that you're watching Twang Nation. Twang Nation. Twang Nation. I didn't really, you know, um, have this plan of like, I'm going to be the singer, guitar player, songwriter. Um, I think I'm intrinsically kind of a bit shy to, to kind of want to just do that straight away. And um, it came to me sort of by default, I guess, because we were in a band. Um, and uh, we being the, the what was going to become the injectors and uh, the singer and songwriter decided he was going to pull a pin on that so I picked up the crumbs and put another band together with the remnants of that and and all, all pointers were sort of pointing at me to, to uh, write, sing, be the guy in the middle of the stage and um, you know I even sort of I guess uh, didn't want that sort of attention even to the point of you know in a joking manner, I named the band after the bass player, Johnny John Delzell. That's how the whole Johnny Diesel thing came about. And of course, you know, I got stuck with it because I was the guy in the middle, but that was how reluctant I was at, at first. And um, I just kind of grew into it. As soon as I went solo, I kind of realized that it was like, that I was it, you know? There was no more sharing there. Like, yo, you do those interviews and you do that stuff and, you know, sort of sharing the workload. Unfortunately, um, even though, even when it was a band, um, you know, the journalists always, always just want to speak to the singer, you know. It's a cliche, but, you know, you can only fob off so much, you know. It was suggested that we should make a record. Um, so we went live in the studio and uh, kept it like we were doing the gig. So everyone felt, you know, didn't sort of pull it all to pieces and make it all technical. And it just, yeah, it didn't seem right to do that. So we set up in the studio and played live and, and um, did the whole record in eight days. So this record is uh, purely an album that was started from um, some live shows that we were doing called Under the Influence. Um, 
And uh, it was really a way of sort of showing influences of mine connected to my own songs. And so it was like join the dots, you know, you've got your Otis Redding and Steve Cropper and their song like Never Miss Your Water, for instance, or a Hendrix song and then Love Junk or, you know, yada yada. So it was all sort of showed the, the direct influences. That's, that's, what, that's what it is. Hey, I'm Luke Dickens. We're, We're McAllister Kemp. Hi, I'm Amber Lawrence, and you're watching Twang Nation. Twang Nation. Twang Nation. Well, I've been driving every back road, me in this old car, with one headlight working. And it's only overheated three times so far And I guess that's pretty good When I lost sight of the city I felt a big relief It took me to a place A place where I'd always won't be I'm going back home I'm going back home to where people call you by your first name I'm going back home to where people treat you just the same As they always have back home Yeah, I'm going back home Well, yes, there was a woman I guess you know the end Cause now I'm looking For a place for a broken heart to mend That's why I'm going back home yeah. I'm going back home The way people call you by your first name I'm going back home As they always have back home. Yeah, I'm going back home. Well, we got the news this morning. Dad had passed away. The new day was dawning. And the tears were rolling down my face As I was going back home I'm going back home The way people call you by your first name I'm going back home The way people treat you just the same As they always have back I've been driving every back road again and again With one headlight working and it only overheats every now and then And I guess that's pretty good For all things Twang Nation, log on to twangnation.com.au